note taking and templates, some cool things on the new paper. I can't wait to get into this today. Hey, I'm JB Glassinger. In case you don't know me, I'm known as the Morning Coach, and this is a channel where we just put some great energy out. We talk about tablets and technology, all kinds of stuff. I mean, we, we've got some of the smartest subscribers in the world, and you can know that by the comments. By the way, I try to get to every comment, and we just passed 8,000 subscribers today. Yes, but um, it's getting a little tougher. But what I will be doing is videos almost every single day, so you can. Make sure you you know connect with us. Hit, hit that subscribe button and hit that little alert bell and turn on all notifications. It really helps. And I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. Like today, we're going through the paper. I'm going to take you in the computer. I'm going to show you how I set up my files on this and then uh, how I take notes. We'll get in the device and show you some of the note taking stuff and the templates. This week, I'll be spending a little bit more time on the paper and then doing some comparisons because I know a lot of people are asking about how does this compare to the RM2, the Remarkable 2. I don't have one of those units. Some of uh, the other YouTubers have those units, and we will be uh, looking at that and, and doing our own judgments. This is a lot of re real-time uh, ideas and thoughts. I, I, you know, I get on the computer and just go. I don't do a lot of editing. I'm not trying to make these devices perfect, so you're going to see the faults. You know, I've been with this device for about almost 48 hours now and I'm you know I'm not the best at it with the gestures and stuff but I want you to see real time are these things intuitive or not and bottom line I just want to have some fun and a shout out to camera conspiracies if you see my t-shirt another youtuber uh, wearing some of his merch today uh, just putting some good energy out for him so without further ado let's get into this device let's look at their the system that's on the computer and then how do you take notes with it how do you organize your notes and what do the templates look like I think you're going to be really surprised with this one so let's jump in the computer okay guys so here we are in the computer and i'm in the quirk logic basically their portal right and this is where what i really like and i have a problem with the uh, quaderno uh is the file organization and and you can see we have the files that that i have created and then shared with me files so they actually shared a file with me which was great and those are the files that I showed you in the last video, if you haven't watched it, where you collaborate. We're not gonna get into that with this video. I wanna spend more time on the note-taking aspect of things. So as you can see here, I've already started putting some file folders together. It's very basic. You can create a new workbook or a new folder within this uh, online situation or, or you know where you put your things. So if you go into books, if you click here, this was a PDF I brought, which is The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard, and that is now a book, okay? If I click on that, it's actually gonna open it up, and this is kind of cool. Not a lot of functionality, but enough, right? So if you're doing a Zoom meeting or something, it, you can actually work on it right here or from your device, and it'll be seen real time. We'll get into that later, but I just wanted to kind of show you how the, the book um, actually worked, right? So you can just bring them right in, and, and drag them into here and you can you can organize all your files this way okay I've got some planners in here uh, sacred six is a book that I've written and and uh, on getting things done and then I'm going to show you some interesting things with a to buy list okay now I'm going to go ahead and open this note just so you can see it and and again this would be on your device and you can see here it is and it's kind of cool now how did I do that well that's what we're going to talk about so first of all Top in, we want to get our folders in place. So you're going to come into this system and you're going to create a new folder for each thing that you want to get organized with. And again, like Morning Coach Documents, if you come in here, you can see that there's actually, you can embed folders within folders. So this is my daily uh, podcast show that I do. I'm coming up on 4,000 episodes with that. That's my real business, right? But if I look at this, I did my CoachCast uh, workbook today. And again, I'll just open it up so you can see it. I did this on the device, not here, um, and it's opening up. And again, I do everything real time, so you can kind of see it's loading up. And this has two pages. This is something I brought in, and I'll show it to you on the device. And then here is the actual uh, notes that I use for my show today, okay? And I did those on the device. But anyways, back to this. Basically, we have mine and shared with me. Uh, this is your library, and this is where you're going to put your folders, and you're going to organize your, your documents. Now remember, in most of these devices, the way it works is this is the top level. So you wanna organize with folders and then the workbooks are your notebooks, right? So one of the cool things I will show you about this, I'm gonna go back in the Daily CoachCast work, workbook. One of the problems that you have in a lot of the devices, and I'll show you this on a device, is that you can't change the template background. 
in this device, you can have a different template background in each page. So once you build a workbook in most of these, you're stuck with the lines. But with this, you can have lines and graphs and whatever you want. And you can even do more than that with the templates. And again, I want to stay on the computer and show you what I do. So remember this to buy. This is how it looks on the device, but it's actually, um, it's actually obviously e-ink, right? Well, how did I make this? Well, this is really interesting, okay? And this is where this device gets really interesting. First of all, you organize your files and then you make a workbook. So let's say you wanted to buy list. The thing that I like about the Dubai list is that on your, with their QuickLogic uh, Quilla uh, application that you can download for your iPhone and iOS, and I'll show you that in a minute, you can actually work in these files. It's not perfect, but you can actually use a pin. And so if you're at the grocery store and don't have your device, you can actually check off the stuff that you buy. Okay, I got bananas, I got avocados. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I think that's really powerful because I haven't seen that in another device. Most other devices, when you're with your iPhone or your, your Android phone, I have a Google Pixel I'll show you, or your iPad, you have to, you, don't, you can only look at it. You can't actually work within the framework of the document. I think that's really powerful. Okay, so how do I build these notes or these templates? Well, this is pretty cool. So it attaches to Google Drive. Okay, so this is my Google Drive, and I'm just going to show you that I have put some uh, certain... Uh, uh, PDFs in here. And what you can do then, I'll show you in the device, once we go in, how you move these PDFs in. Well, how do you create these? Well, that's where I use a tool called Canva. Canva is a uh, free system. I actually, you can upgrade um, for a monthly, right, or a monthly payment of like 10 bucks a month, and it'll give you actually more uh, capabilities. But what's cool about Canva is you can come in here and you can search for, let's say a checklist, right? So we can search for a checklist and it'll say suggested checklist. So when I come in here, it's got all these templates already redone. So the cool thing about this device is you can have any template that you want and you can build your own. And again, we'll get in the device in a minute, but I wanna show you this. So if you wanted to put a college bucket list together, right? You can come in here and you can, let's say we wanna change the color of this. Let's go to blue. Okay, and I, maybe we don't want to call it college. Maybe we want to call it life. Okay, and I can build this out, basically download it as a PDF, right? Right here, download as a PDF, save it to my desktop. Now, follow me here, very simple. Save it to my desktop, bring it into Google Drive, and now it's ready to be a template in this device. I think that's really super cool. I don't know many devices that do that, and it's really powerful because what happens is, now you have the ability to make your own really awesome templates and bring them in using this device Canva. Now you can use other things. You can use Photoshop. You can do it by hand. It doesn't matter. I just like this because I can look for checklists. What else? Maybe look for a calendar, right? Maybe a calendar. Let's go calendar. Let's just look. You have all types of things in here that you can bring in and you just click it and now you're ready to go and you have a, a, device, a, 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 a um, template and then you can download it. And the cool thing about this device is you can use a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF, and it's going to be in your, in, you know, as a template. So let's go ahead. The next step is I want to go into the, the device and show you that and then show you how you do some of this. So first of all, just to show you the note taking on it, this Quirk Logic, because they've had the Quilla for years uh, and have built this software out, has a really nice um, portal that you use in order to get your files organized, right? Then what we do is once they're organized, we start to build our workbooks. And our workbooks then are done on the system and you're gonna bring in through Google Drive or Dropbox the files that you've created to utilize your own personal templates. And again, I've only had this device for a little over, I mean, I've worked on it for about five hours and maybe that, not even that, two hours. But I figured out how to do these templates and it's really cool. So we're gonna go in there. And the tool I use is Canva, C-A-N-V-A, to you to utilize this to get these um to get the you know search for these different templates that i want maybe a day planner huh let's put in a day planner and you can search and you're going to find different things now this one kind of came up with a lot of different things uh, memes and stuff let's just put in planner and see if that works better uh no day oh there we go weekly scheduler scheduler i think they like is the term 
Oh, here we go. Scheduler or class scheduler. So you just got to work with the search terms, but you can find all kinds of stuff. If you're a student, look, you can put your class schedule in here. So there's some really cool templates that are already designed that you can click on and you can, you know, make this your own, you know, and just go through here and JB's class schedule. So, and you can actually type in if you want to, like you got English 101, you can add this. This is a, you know, its own system for building graphics and stuff. And I like it. It's internet web based. It's free, but they do have an, an upsell in here to get some photos and stuff. But anyways, so you build your templates and now we're ready to put them in Google Drive. Once they're in Google Drive, now we can utilize them within the system. So let's go show how this works. We're going to jump out of the computer and now go into the, um, the, the actual device and show you how these templates work. All right, guys, so we're back in the device here and I want to go over a couple things. Um, you know, I'm not always positive about everything. I don't really like this bar up here, to be honest with you. It does use a lot of power in the last 24 hours, just to let you know, um, I have noticed that. But I am getting better with the changing things and making things happen. And the first thing I want to do is then let's look at the file folders as we discussed. So if we go in the library, I've already logged in, you're going to see your recent cloud folders, your mine, your, your local on this device. Like you can keep just folders on this device only. But personally, I like the cloud. And as you can see, if you can see that, all right, I don't know if it'll, it'll focus enough, but on the iPhone and the Android, the same thing is right there, right? So we have the same thing going on on all of our devices because of their app, which is really nice. And I'll keep those out of frame just because I don't want to have a distraction there. But again, I'll show you how a book works. Uh, we just open it up. There's a book. This was a PDF book that I brought in. Uh, it, it takes it a minute. It's opened up. You can see I actually circled that in the app uh, just recently and it came up again. And I can just press this and delete that. I will delete that. But again, just reading through the book, and I'm used to sliding, you see that? That's something I'm used to sliding. This one actually you slide up, and then it loads it, and this is how you get to the next uh, page. So as far as note taking goes, um, let's go ahead and go up to a page here with Neville's book. Basically, you can see that I started taking some notes here. Uh, you can have that contextual, uh, the contextual uh, menu. You can just put up here and pick what you want. If we want to highlight something, uh, we can go to the highlighter here and I can just go ahead and highlight this section and it, it's highlighted there. Okay. So you can see it. It's, it's, it's a highlight there. It's a little light, but, but I can see it. And so again, that's working the same way. So that's like reading and taking notes at the same time. You can do that. We don't have side by side yet, like the Quaderno, something on the pathway, which I think would be good that they could add. They could make this a little better device. But again, we're talking about all over note taking. Let's talk about the templates right now. I just want to show you the book. So we go to the library. Let's go ahead and look at um, some notes. Uh, here's the to, to buy list. I mentioned this on the um, on the video earlier when we were talking about it. This is that to buy list that came in and you can see it's loading it up. You can see the stuff that I've written on and then the background. So how do you change the background to the templates we discussed? Well, let's go ahead and add a new page. And like I said, the cool thing about this this um, this device is that when you do this, okay, uh, there it is. We're going to add a new page. When you do this, let's go ahead and go in that page. You can do it per page, not per workbook. In most of these devices, it's per workbook. So we're going to click this little file icon here. And I could say if I want to graph or lines, which are the pretty basic ones. But what we're doing is we're bringing in a specific um, uh, design that we've already done that I've showed you. So I'm going to go in Google Drive. You can also use Dropbox, but obviously Google Drive is what I use. And so as we, it's it's li lo listing the files right now. Oh, I got to sign in. So let me sign in. I probably should do that before. And remember, all these things I do live, so you can kind of see um, kind of how things work. And and you know sometimes things don't work perfect. I do not want the perfect review. I want you to see how these things work. I think it's more important. So we're gonna allow that. It's connecting. And this is one of the reasons it has Chrome on because it really utilizes this functionality. Okay, so I actually made a, 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 a folder in Google Drive called JB's Quick Logic Paper. And when I click that, it's gonna load the files. And I have uh, made actually add a file in there called templates. That way I have all my templates in place. 
Now here are the names. We talked about the ones that you had seen before. These are the ones that were made in Canva. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this minimalist planner and I'm gonna click that. Now here's what's cool. It, it, it's right there. You can, if there's like multiple pages in there, it would say select one of them, but I'm gonna select that one from Google Drive and I'm gonna insert it. And so here we go, boom. I have a templated day planner. I don't know if you can see that really good. See how cool that is? So you can create any templates that you want for this. Okay, so again, if I go back to page one, and I, I do like to use this tool, I can go into here, and it's got a different template on it. Okay, it takes a minute to load, there that is. And then if I go back to page two, it has a this template. And then if we wanna add another one, let's add a third page, and say we just wanna have a graphed one within this workbook. So you can think of this as a notebook with multiple pages, right? So let me click that and, and uh, get in there. Let's go to page three. By the way, you can move the pages around too, which is really nifty. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. That and, and it says, look, so here's the big thing. Do you wanna add the current page or to the entire workbook? No, I just wanna do this current page. So now I have a graph document that I can start doing my notes, my doodles, whatever I want. Obviously, again, using the tool that you have this contextual me memo or this contextual menu is how everything works. So you have lines, everything that you kind of want to do in here. Uh, you can even put in squares and flow charts uh, and, and all this stuff, make it bigger, and then you're good to go. So if I select that, let's see if I can move that over. I can move it. There's so much you can do. And again, I'm just learning these functionality, the functionality of it uh, as we get through it. And then obviously, one of the cool things is again, with the contextual member, one press, we can obviously undo uh, the things that we've done before. If it didn't work out right, you can do that, okay? So the note taken on it is great with these custom templates because you can have anything uh, that you want. And again, if I come into here, I've got three pages. And again, say this day planner, I wanna move it in front of my to buy list. I could just move that over, right? You see how I move the pages over? Again, I think that's really nifty that a lot of these devices don't have. So that's the note taker, I wanted to show you that. And again, like I said, one of the cool things is, is say you're out, and these work exactly the same way, and you're out um, shopping, and you need to, to go to your to buy list. Okay, let me log in here real quick. Let me go into my library. I'm gonna go into my cloud, and I'm gonna go, um, oh, I'm not logged in. Uh, let me see, uh, library, see this is real time. Let's see, oh wow, it's not showing any note workbooks. That's different. I wonder where they went. Again, we're live here. This typically works, doesn't it say have any workbooks. Let me sign out and sign back in. I'm gonna show you on the Android, and then we'll do that again to buy list, loading content. I think it um, logged me out. Okay, let's see, okay. So then here it is, it's loading that. Oops, sorry, library, my cloud, to buy list, loading content, loading workbook. There it goes. And there it is. So like I said, the cool thing about this is I can come in here and use the erase tool and erase stuff, like so I can erase all that, right? I can come in here and check box that I bought that. So you actually can work within the document. It's limited, it's just a pen and eraser, but it is pretty great. Let me see if I can get on iPhone. I'm not gonna go crazy if I can't. Uh, I got, oh, I gotta log in again. Let me sign in. And again, I like to do this real time stuff so you can see how this works. And sometimes if there's an issue or something, um, then we, we go, we keep rolling. I mean, there's no reason to do anything. So it's, it's loading up. And we'll do that. But that's what I like about it. So when you're in a, and here are the pages that I put in. There's a day planner. There's the, uh, the device we just, the, the little squared thing we just did. And I can put that in there. So the Apple's having a little issue. I'm going to reload that. I'm going to uh, uh, actually shut down the device and redo it. And we'll do that in another video. But it seems to be working pretty good. That's the first time I've ever had an issue with it. Let me just try it one more time. And then we'll keep rolling. Let's see. Uh, let me go into log in, sign in, continue. And it could be my Wi-Fi or internet connection kind of screwed up there. But it really works real well, and I, I'm happy with it. Again, uh, for note taking, I think it's really good. You can kind of see, we come into our library, and you can see all the different 
um, different things that you're working on, uh, recent cloud. So you can kind of see all your, your uh, folders that we built on the computer uh, that we talked about and you can kind of see, so here's the planners uh, that we talked about and you can see I've built the folders out already. I don't have files in all these. Here's my morning coach documents. This is what I did this morning. Here's the daily coach cast. And when I click on that, it's going to open up and there is that. So I brought this uh, device, this image in for me to work on this page with. And then on this page is my notes. Now, by the way, I've always said this, you can, you can bring this in and have an unlimited uh, space to work on, by the way. So this is like an unlimited canvas. It can just keep getting bigger and bigger. That's up to you how big you want to work with it. Um, and then if you do a two finger, and again, I'm getting better at this typically, there it goes, it brings it back to 100%. So really cool device. Again, wanted to show you my request timed out on my iPhone. So I got a little issue with my iPhone. I'll reboot that. I'll let you know tomorrow in the video uh, exactly, you know, what that error was, but it's pretty typical. I'll shut down the iPhone and go forward. But overall, really nifty device. Note taking is great. You can create your own background and templates. And that's what I wanted to show you today. How do you take notes with it? The paper feels really good. It's, uh, you know, built on the Sony system. So, you, you know, the paper uh, feel is there. I love the stylus. It works really well. Um, overall, the device works great. You've been using it the last two days, organizing files, and I'll keep, uh, keep you posted on it. But this one was about notes and templates, and I think that really can help you out. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your subscribes, your likes, your comments. It really does make a big difference in the channel, and we are really getting some growth here, and it's because of you. I personally feel the subscribers are the best on YouTube. We have such great commentary, and people are helping each other. This is really a community more than a channel, and it's because of you that I can do this. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope that helped you with the paper. I will be bringing you more tutorials this week on, on the paper. I'm actually breaking the channel up into playlists so you can go to the Remarkable 1, Remarkable 2, the Fujitsu Quaderno, uh, the uh, the uh, Quirk, Quirk Logic Paper and, and Quilla and their, their products and then I'm just going to keep going. Super Note so you have different sections and you can kind of look and find what device is best for you and I'll do some comparison videos too. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. All right, go have a great one as always.